What's up everyone for the Winitachi here, you know what it is. Thank you all very much for tuning into this video and guide on Warfronts. I have just received the quest, the Warfront Looms. And basically Warfronts are 20 man PvE raids in a PvP scenario. And what I mean by that is, it's not technically PvP, but it's like a role playing event for PvP players to basically adventure through in a PvE raid. And what I mean by that is, Warfronts are basically going to be old school, like little PvP adventures that both Horde and Alliance can experience. And we're gonna go ahead and turn in our quest. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that you need to know about Warfronts from how to start your Warfront, how it works on being able to launch a Warfront, and uh, basically uh, some of the cool items that you can get. What are all these dailies that are looming around your Warfront section of your little capital city for Horde or Alliance? Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and turn in my starter quest, which is uh, the Warfront Looms, which gives me simple gold, which goes ahead and takes me to where I need to uh, check in with my Warfront. So, to the front, uh, speak with Druza Netherfang to teleport to and then uh, report to Whistle Silver Snitch. Let's accept that quest, and next up, make a donation to the war effort. You can donate gold, war resources, or crafted equipment that will give us honor-bound commendation, which awards us a reputation. So that's where these dailies come into play. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys around with all of the dailies, finishing back at this guy to my right. So starting with here, there will be a daily, I'm not going to go over and explain all of it, but wartime donations, crows, feast, uh, scope. Which you'll be able to, oh, Crow's Nest Scope, sorry, which you can donate uh, six of those. Uh, you'll be given Azerite Power as well as some reputation. Same thing with Great Sea Catfish. Um, we've also got over here up to the top side. Another daily for War Scroll Fortitude. Another daily for uh, Core Leather Barding. These are basically the basics of um, what professions kind of craft and create, and also um, basic necessities as in Regents. Um, enchant Ring, Seal of Versatility. You can also do Tide Spray Linen. Another daily for contributions is Shredding uh, Viridium. Over here is a Steel Skin Potion. You can even do Gold. You can do War Resources. And last but not least, a daily for uh, Monel Hardened uh, Stirrups. So, I'm going to go ahead and do gold since that is the simplest way for me to do this. And um, with turning in your daily contribution, you will be given 500 artifact power. Along with um, reputation towards the honor bound. And uh, this is a daily uh, turn in, so you can also do the others as well go ahead and turn in that quest and get some more honor bound accommodation reputation next up we got to go ahead and do the other quest uh, to the front so let's go ahead and talk to here Druza another thing and uh, send me to the highlands again the alliance you experience the exact same thing just with different npcs and the war fronts are a little bit different as well but pretty much the exact same thing that you are about to witness here all right so we have been teleported to Arathi highlands this is kind of your like little warfront area or location, which is all the way up here, just south of Argorok. Let's go ahead and turn in the quest. And next up, report to Foreman uh, Drog, Growl, and Flightmaster Krazzle. We're starting off here. Get the Flightmaster. Yeah. What do you want? All right, so Flightmaster, what, 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 what are we doing? I just want to point out some of the spots where we've been dealing with Alliance attacks in case you need to know, you know, kill them. All right, cool. So you're basically just going through the grasp of what we're going to expect in the Warfront and showing me areas where there's going to be heavy, heavy Alliance sections. And of course, freaking Stormguard Keep over there, that site. That's what that's what we're trying to take over as Horde fam, and uh, the Alliance are actually trying to reverse that and take over our keep, which is over here. 
Alright, sweet. Coming back down. That was kind of a boring flight path, I'll tell you that much. Alright, next up, we're gonna go ahead and check in with the other boys. This is basically giving you the... Oh, yeah, shit, you can fly here. This is basically giving you the grasps of um, where key NPCs are within this little location. Alright, so that's gonna be the foreman. Last but not least, on the opposite side. Uh, turn in as many as you can. 54% hurry up, hordies. Oh my gosh, villain. Chillax. Us hordies are not into this shit. Have you guys been able to do your first rotation yet? Alright, and just down here, we can go ahead and speak to this speak NPC. And back we go to go ahead and turn in the, the quest. Again, these are just the uh, the pre-quests into Warfronts, basically showing you where all the key NPCs Looking are good. and what to expect when you go ahead and queue up for a Warfront. So, you will unlock access to the following Warfronts, the Battle for Stormguard. So, I gotta speak with uh, Drews and Netherfang to return to Zul'Dazar. And sadly, before I do that, I gotta kill this little Wraith here. I'm gonna overkill this. Because I don't want to be here. Alright. Back we go. <laughs> Alright. So back to the main NPC here. We now have access to Warfront the Battle of Stormguard. Now just to let you guys know. This is the first Warfront that will be active in World of Warcraft. There's going to be many more to come. We don't have too much details on that. But this is the very first PvP PvE scenario of Warfronts in Battle for Azeroth. So now that we have access to um, Stormguard, we have completed all of our intro quests and showed you basically the basics of um, Warfronts. We now have access to the War Table, which we can go ahead and click on. Now, how this works, and this is the key for how to activate a Warfront. So, the Horde is contributing to the Warf efforts in Arathi Highlands, um, so we've also got to do our part. Now, it is currently into Horde Contribution Mode, which we are currently at 54%. How you contribute is all of the dailies around. It's kind of how uh, the Mage Tower worked in um, Legion, for those of you who are wondering, where you had to contribute your currency in order to activate certain structures. That's kind of how this is going to be taken into play. We're currently at 54%. Once the Horde have hit 100%, that will mean Horde now have access. Um, they will now have access to the Battle of Stormguard scenario where only Horde can now queue up for this scenario and Alliance have to sit back and wait for the Alliance to go ahead and get their contribution up to 100% after a couple of days of Horde being able to uh, take on this scenario. So it's basically a back and forth type of event. Um, once the Alliance have it, Horde can't do it, then we have to go ahead and contribute to our war efforts. Once the Horde have it, Alliance can't do it, and they have to go ahead and contribute to their war efforts. And again, to contribute to the war efforts, you have to go ahead and uh, do the dailies and uh, make sure you're ready for action. You have the supplies you need to go ahead and take down the enemies.